Hello friends, today our medical discussion, episode number 32. Today our topic is low blood pressure. So my first question is, what is low blood pressure and what are the causes? So uh, we all are very concerned mainly about high blood pressure, but low blood pressure can also be sometimes very harmful to the body. So we say blood pressure as low blood pressure when the systolic blood pressure is less than 90 and diastolic blood pressure is less than 60. That is, if our blood pressure is less than 90 by 60, then we term it as low blood pressure. So, uh, in most of the cases, low blood pressure can sometimes be physiological. Uh, some people they have low blood pressure at all the time and they never feel any problem they are uh, they live their life very comfortably without any kind of uh, physiological problem such type of person even if they have blood pressure less than 90 by 60 then we term it as physiological blood pressure sometimes in the athletes those people who exercise very vigorously those are trained uh, to go for running or uh, people involved in the sports they generally can present with low blood pressure but most of the time they do not feel or do not undergo any kind of problem another important and very uh, uh, preventable region of uh, low blood pressure is dehydration if a person uh, has less intake of fluid if a person loses fluid either because of uh, less intake either because of repeated vomiting or sometimes because of acute gastroenteritis uh, such people can present in the medical facility with low blood pressure so dehydration is a very important cause sometimes there are certain medications whose side effect is low blood pressure so use of certain medications can lower our BP among them the important is the anti-anxiety or anti-depression medications such type of medications uh, sometimes causes low blood pressure alcohol is an important uh, cause of low blood pressure when a person starts taking alcohol initially his BP can suddenly go down uh, however, if a person uh, continues to take alcohol for longer periods, such uh, it is seen that the blood pressure starts increasing in the latter period. Diuretics, that is those medications which causes increased uh, fluid output in the urine or increases the urine output uh, also causes low blood pressure by removing or by letting out the fluid through the urine. So in such cases, low blood pressure can be a side effect. NSAIDs or painkillers if is used regularly or for long period can sometimes present with low blood pressure. The medications which are used for various heart problems uh, uh, usually presents uh, or usually has side effect as low blood pressure. These medications sometimes cause dilatation of the blood vessels and therefore there is peripheral pooling of the blood and therefore a person can suffer from orthostatic hypotension that is when a person lies down his blood pressure remains normal but suddenly if he stands then there is peripheral pooling of blood and there can be sudden lowering of bp so these are certain medications whose side effect can be low blood pressure now there can be certain medical conditions which can also present with low blood pressure diabetes mellitus is an important among them Diabetes mellitus sometimes causes peripheral neuropathy or autonomic neuropathy that is it affects the nerves that is uncontrolled blood sugar in each, uh, after, uh, after a longer period can affect the nerves and because the nerves are affected the regulation of the blood pressure or the uh, response of the blood pressure to uh, uh, or the blood vessels to the blood pressure uh, decreases and therefore the, there is dilatation of blood vessels and there can be peripheral pooling of blood and uh, the person can present with low blood pressure hypothyroidism or the thyroid disorders can present with low blood pressure uh, the various heart diseases uh, mainly the heart failure that is when the uh, muscles of the heart it weakens the pumping capacity of the heart goes down and therefore a person can present with low blood pressure if there is arrhythmia or dysregulation of the heart rhythm the heart can't, can't pump properly uh, therefore a person can have various symptoms of low blood pressure like vertigo dizziness blackout or even the person can lose his consciousness 
various type of chronic diseases like chronic liver disease and chronic kidney disease can also present with low blood pressure so these are specifically the main reasons that we encounter in the uh, opds uh, that uh, people uh, present with low blood pressure so my next question is what are the tests or investigation then get been done to rule out the low blood pressure so normally as i have discussed that a person when comes with physiological blood uh, low blood pressure or a person who don't feel any kind of discomfort uh, even he is having low blood pressure then we can think uh, it as physiological low blood pressure however it is important to rule out certain uh, important causes or medical causes which can cause low blood pressure for that the important uh, thing to uh, do is uh, an ecg an uh, echo test and a tmt even angiography of the heart these are the various tests of the heart to rule out any kind of heart diseases sometimes an angiography is required to diagnose a heart failure or a heart attack patient so uh, the uh, any uh, condition of the heart or any medical condition affecting the heart should be ruled out when a person presents with heart failure next a thyroid test should be done to rule out hypothyroidism if a person has history of diabetes mellitus or uncontrolled blood sugar uh, such patient uh, has uh, should be tested for the blood sugar and if it is uncontrolled then proper medications and proper efforts should be given to control his blood sugar next the other routine investigations like the test for the uh, to see the liver function test Uh, to see for the chronic uh, kidney disease uh, we have to do a renal function test ultrasound of the abdomen and urine test and the other routine test should be done uh, to rule out any kind of medical conditions which may cause low blood pressure if a person has any history of taking any kind of medication that can lower the bp such medication has to be reviewed if uh, if it uh, can be stopped then the medication should be stopped or if it cannot be stopped proper consultation should be done if the doses can be reduced so all this history should be taken proper test should be that taken proper uh, routine test should be done to rule out the various medical conditions so my last question is uh, what are the management that can be taken for low blood pressure especially at home so uh, the main cause of blood pressure is dehydration so water intake is very important a person should take at least 2.7 to 3.5 liters of daily in uh, uh, of water daily so that the water content in the body remains normal uh, extra salt intake is essential to increase the bp uh, whenever a person take extra salt it helps to retain the water in the body and uh, ultimately the blood pressure will go up if a person has history of uh orthostatic hypotension such person uh, should not get up immediately from lying down position at first he should sit for 1 to 2 minutes and gradually he should stand up uh, if a person suddenly stands up there can be peripheral pulling of blood and there can be vertigo and dizziness such person also should not stand for a longer period of time and if he continues to stand he should move his leg he should move his fingers so that there is contraction of the muscles and the ultimately it will pump the blood uh, 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 or and prevent peripheral pulling of blood so uh, these are the techniques to prevent uh, orthostatic hypotension nowadays compressive uh, stockings have come up that is these are special kind of socks which can be worn and it provides a continuous uh, pressure in the lower limbs so that there is uh, uh, there is no peripheral pulling of blood so uh, these these are the methods how we can uh, prevent orthostatic hypotension if a person has history of alcohol intake she should lower on the, uh, or if possible immediately should stop taking alcohol ultimately if a person has various uh, symptoms of a hypotension either vertigo dizziness dehyd uh, uh, or there is a blackout then he should immediately consult the doctor get him tested immediately uh, to rule out various kind of medical conditions especially uh, various heart diseases that ultimately lead to low blood pressure thank you sir at last i would like to request to our audience any advice for the low blood pressure 
so uh, low blood pressure it is an important thing to diagnose it it is also harmful to the body as uh, high blood pressure is harmful to the body so whenever a person under uh, experiences the various symptoms of low blood pressure or even if he is incidentally detected to have a blood pressure less than 90 by 60 he should get tested for various medical conditions is uh, if uh, he or she is taking any medication such medication should be reviewed and if possible he should uh, take the various precautionary measures uh, to uh, um, uh, to undergo or to prevent uh, the various symptoms of orthostatic hypotension or low blood pressure i hope this video is very useful you have understood what is, uh, what is low blood pressure what are the various preventive measures what are the diagnostic tests that can be done uh, if a person is diagnosed with low blood pressure i hope you will all like the video share the video as much as possible and subscribe our channel thank you all